All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the No FIFA Point, obviously, or FC Point, obviously, Poor Man Road to Glory, which is also, I guess, obviously at this point, a first owner RTG plus Leeds players. And today I'm hoping gameplay is better. We played one or two games on the main account this morning and it was awful, uh, but yesterday night I did play a few games and uh, it was cleaner. We managed to rescue the record a little bit, so we're back up to eight and four right now on this account. But as I told you guys last episode, we are done competing in this game to try and get to the best finishes. I'm gonna be back competing once team of the season hits or if they refresh weekend league rewards if we can Le weekend league rewards get refreshed i'll go back to sweating my nuts off but uh, i kind of want to just grind this game play some good football build cool teams i'm going back to the 4-2-1-3 setup that we ran for the first two months that this game's been out so moving away from 4-2-3-1 because i think i need a little bit more width i need to go back to some width we're bringing back for what the 800th time over again but we're bringing back Garnach and Dembouz to see maybe at actual left wing and right wing they can have more bit uh, more of an impact on the team if they can't we'll bring Hansen and Neymar or Hansen and Muziala on as impact subs as we do usually so that's a plan for the squad now EA have come out with some absolute erupt if you're lucky and have players that fit but nevertheless erupt evos so yesterday they gave us two 100k uh, finisher Evos, which super juices right wing cards. <laughs> and then today they released another cut inside right wing Evo that <coughs> allows you to just get some team of the season looking cards. Now I'm an idiot. So obviously I'm not going to just go for meta cards. I'm going to go for leads players. We've been grinding pretty heavily. So we got, um, Rodon and Pascal strike up by one stage. So strike now needs, uh, two wins, two clean sheets to get himself up to an 85. Sorry, Rodon. And then Stroik needs uh, three wins and then, well, five wins. So it technically needs eight more wins to get himself up to an 86. And then we'll be able to put both Stroik and Rodon into the um, the other Evo. So Stroik will go to a 90 and I think Rodon will go to an 89, which will be very nice boosts for those two cards. Um, and then also... I got to make sure that we do Kamara before he expires, but we have plenty of time there. Now, the point of what I wanted to say here is um, I am lucky enough. We're finally, thanks to these Evos, we can do some players that haven't been able to get a lot of love. First of all, insanely, Becky can be juiced up to an 88 rated superhuman card for the Canadian team. Now, if I didn't have any options to use Leeds players, she would probably be the first person I would go with because this card is crazy and she at least gets a little bit of an improvement on her weak foot skills. But um, I won't be doing that. You can double upgrade Babajide. You guys know how much we loved uh, this card on the account at the start of the year. With one upgrade and then this upgrade, she turns into like an 89 rated super card. So she's really cool. If only she had a dynamic image. Uh, Julian Alvarez is a cracked card. Had I done the upgrade with him, he would have been 87 rated and a team of the season card. Seriously. So I'm a little bit upset um, that I have already, that I didn't do the upgrade on him. I, I did it on Elite's player, obviously, but that's just how it works. Sometimes you pick the right thing. Sometimes you don't pick the right things. It is what it is. But more importantly, here are the two exciting ones. So Somerville, I can do. I, I can do this Nanto, but it crashes the game. So anyone that did the first week's Evo where you got a right wing position. So Willie got a right wing position. So finally, after about, about almost 10 weeks, I can upgrade this Nanto card, but you can't do it on console. It crashes the game. Every time you try and submit him into this uh, uh, Evo, it just crashes the game. So you have to go do it on the web app. The web app works just fine for some idiotic reason, uh, but on console, it doesn't. So the problem is I have a tough decision to make. I 100% want to give a boost to Somerville. So I'm definitely going to give uh, him an 83. He absolutely deserves it and will be not a great card. I, I, it's got to be said. He'll still not be a great card, but he'll be semi, semi. Oh, no, sorry. That's not even the right one. What the heck? Here we go. He won't be a great card, but he will get a four star weak foot and he'll be semi usable. Uh, sorry, what, what I was trying to get at here. Still not amazing, but a relatively decent card and I think finally at least get some uh some some play style so I definitely want to give him one right the problem here is the next choice 
So I do want to go with Willy Nanto, and we'd be able to take him up to, what, an 84 with a Travella. It'd be really, really cool. Uh, Patrick Bamford score, scored a banger, of course, for Leeds in, in the cup game. Um, Nanto's reaction to Bamford's goal was hilarious. So I, I, I'd love to give it to Nanto. But for those of you guys that have been watching the series for a little bit, you know I've been slowly working on Ian Pavetta. I like Ian Pavetta a lot. I like his skill set. Uh, he did very well for Colombia. He played Leeds allowed him to leave um, for a call up for Colombia. So I think he's switching nations to Colombia officially. Um, I just really like him. He's got a lot of promise. Doesn't get too too much game time under Daniel Fark, but still when he plays is pretty promising. So. What I want to do is I want to keep boosting this Pavetta, but it's going to cost me a fortune. However, I think this Pavetta is going to be super original and super cool and still low rated enough where maybe he'll be able to be continued to be upgraded. So hear me out. I initially want to put Pavetta into the cut inside, okay? So if I put Pavetta into the cut inside, I'll show you guys the uh, the, the look of the card, okay? Because then And then we'll go, we'll go a little bit further. So if I put Pavetta into cut inside, are you even going to be able to see this? I have no idea, but let me uh, let me see here. So if I put him into cut and side, that's what his cards. If it, if it once it locks in on him, you'll be able to see it pretty nicely. Come on, gang! Come on, dead. Is that better? There we go. Okay. So when I put him into cut and side, this is what he's going to look like, right? Seventy-three pace, seventy-two passing, eighty-seven dribbling, and he'll have, I believe, five or six. Play styles. So you take the 79 Pavetta, right? And you put him... What? Oh, God. I thought the game froze again. And you put him down into the finisher, and he will go up to an 82-rated card, 5-star weak foot, which is a bit of a waste because he already has a, he would already have a 5-star weak foot with the other one. So I am wasting a weak foot, but he'll have a um, Travella Playstyle Plus, which is huge. And then he gets a pretty nice boost on his card overall and still will be 82 rated. Now, the problem is, is that will cost me 200,000 coins. And I think we've already spent 100, 250k on Pavetta. So this, <laughs> this Pavetta is going to have cost me about 300 to 350k to upgrade into an 82 rated card, man. <laughs> but I feel like it'll be the only 82 rated Travella five-star weak-footed Pavetta available in the game right now. Um, so I, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. As much as it would probably make sense to go with a Somerville. Okay. Again, hear me out. Do I do an even more dumb thing? Where I give this to Pavetta. So this gives Pavetta a five-star weak foot. And he gets a center forward position. Right? And then I give Nanto and Somerville these boosts. What do you guys think about that? So then I've got a relative... What, 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 what will I have? An 84 rated uh, Nanto, an 83 rated Somerville, and a 79 rated Pavetta. That's going to cost me 1,500 FC points. That's outrageous. But maybe that would be the move because then that way I'm not wasting the weak foot. This one gives... Paveds, his five-star weak foot, and he gets a center forward position. This one gives Nanto and um, and Somerville their upgraded weak foots. And I think that the, the beauty here too is Nanto will go from three-star, three-star to four-star, four-star. Hey? I think that's going to be the move, guys. I think I, I now I've just fully changed my mind again. But I, I think that's going to be the move. Now, I have a long time to choose. So again... The beauty is you don't want to rush it. I mean, imagine if I put Pavetta into this. You can't put Pavetta into finisher first and then into cut inside. It, 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 he has too much pace. So you have to do Pavetta into the one that came out today and then into the one that came out yesterday, which further makes me upset that as it seems like you have to wait until car, uh, Evos are about to expire before you do an Evo path. To get the best evo path and i really don't like that i know a lot of you guys have started to notice that but like if you're someone that does an evo as it comes out you're heavily punished i mean it's taken me three months to be able to evo nanto off of an 81 when we put him into the first upgrade of the year right 
three months, man. That's such a long time to wait. Like, it's silly. So that's another thing that I'm a little bit concerned with is that it seems like EA are constantly releasing Evos, but behind each other that you would have had to wait to do the newest Evo to then do an older Evo to make a card super good. Um, yeah, so maybe that's the move, man. We just sit there and do Evos as they expire first. So we've got... For example, keeping balance are both expiring in five days. So maybe that's the next set that we do. What else? Yeah, that's probably the next set that we do on the RTG, right? Wait, what? One day? What's this? Team of the week one day. I don't think I have a team of the week. Yeah, that's not going to work. So the team of the week one will let expire. This one is dumb. I can't even really uh, use any players that I want. So I'll, I'll give up on that one. But anyways... That's the game plan for today. SBCs have been released. We did uh, some league SBCs. We're eight and four in champs. So uh, I opened up all of the silver crap as well so that you guys don't have to see that on the um, on the Epis. And it's just quote unquote good packs as we go. So let's see what type of pack luck we can get today. If we get anything good, we'll go play a game of champs. That's now the rule on the series, boys. If we get something good, we'll take them into gameplay. Even if it's as a super sub with the main team, that's going to be the rule. And I'm not going to force rage through games. I'm going to just vibe out, take my time. We have the icon pick, which we'll do at the end of the episode or midway through the episode. We will 100% do that one too. Got a crazy good pack pull on the main account. So I'm expecting um, something awesome, hopefully on this account as well. So can I bring back? I think I can bring back alerts and music, Amen. right? There we go. Ryan, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate you. And thank you for those bits uh, from United Ryan earlier as well. I think I missed that. Thanks, guys. Um, so tomorrow's upgrade. So I'm putting uh, dupes on the trade pile for now. That are tradable. I did Amal Diallo, uh, an 85 from a 74. Nice. So the best part about this game is Evos, man. If only gameplay could keep up. If only gameplay could keep up for us, that would be the dream, man. Uh, so I'll keep that. I'll list these. I'm saving 85 plus packs for Team of the Year. That's it. I might save the 84 plus by 20 for Team of the Year. Not like it's going to be a good pack anyways, though. I opened that pack on the main account today and it was horrible. the story of every FIFA it is isn't it it's too bad man it's too bad I'm now at the point where I have to curate how I consume this game to keep it fun for myself sold butcher for 500k 500k wasn't he like 1.1 million for the longest time prices are tanking like crazy huh I saw that one Gordon looks really good. Okay, so Kwame, remember? No man left behind. We're still doing no man left behind, but there's not really much to do. So Kwame is from a... Uh, where is it? What if I could do the daily verses, actually? Yeah, Kwame is from what? Serie A? Should be very easy to do. Yep. Need five rares. It needs to be different nations. Because it said, I can do one bronze. Why not? That guy's so hard to fit into anything else. Might as well. Hey, man. Okay. Put that into another league. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got five rares done. What's the chem looking like? 30 chem, so he can actually just go away completely. Perfect. Can just use two almost off-league uh, golds. Done. One. Two. Oh, that might actually... Yeah, love it. Rodrigo, thank you for the 19, brother. Appreciate you. I'm going to turn down the uh, music just a little bit for the stream. Buchanan, Chelsea center back, and Patrick, who? Uh, 89. I know, man. I, I really want to try my best to do um, dynamic image players, though, when possible. I feel like that's the better that's the better move. Okay, come on. Let's get a uh, let's get a fire Neymar, please. Thank you. And then we'll get a uh, thunder Cruyff from the. Imagine hitting a thunderstruck Cruyff from the pick. On this account. I feel like this account is... After I say I'm going to stop tryharding in Weekend League and just vibe out, is when I'll get someone like a Johan Cruyff on this account. We're definitely going to get something dumb good, though. Hey, Dr. Dean. What's up, brother? We're chilling, man. Chilling, chilling. <gasps> Who's this? Fire! Who's this? Right wing! Wait, is this a double... Oh, no. It's... What's his name? God, look at how that looks. Hey? The walkout animation for the fire is so good. It's almost pink. It looks like an F Cancer color that we would use for the charity stream. Good lord, that's hot. Wait, does that mean I have to play a game? No shot, man. He's discard too, which is hilarious. Alright, I'll go play a game. I'll go play a game. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear indeed. <sighs> well, I guess we're vibing out to 11 wins, right? Uh, do I need... What do I need for my Evo? Gore, is it... Um... Oh Jesus. Clean sheets is going to be impossible. Forgot. I forgot that it was clean sheets, guys. I forgot that it was clean sheets. 83 by 30 or 87 by 3? I think I'd still go for the 87, honestly. But then again, an 83 by 30, I feel like you're probably going to get a couple of higher rated cards, no matter what. And then you could do another couple of uh, SBCs for free. That's a tough one, man. I'm sure you'll probably get 20 83s, but uh, the other 10 will, be, will probably be 84s and up. I don't know. Normally, I would say 87 by 3. But is it really an 83 plus by 30? I've never even seen a pack like that. I feel like you probably want to try that. Thanks, say so. Yeah, family's good, man. It's 83 by 20. See, if it's 83 by 20, then, I, then I'm a little bit more apprehensive. Then I would say 87 by 3. Yeah, I'd say probably an 87 by 3 then is the right choice. This is fun. Erupt. Sundays are always the easiest for champs. Why did you have to curse me with that message, dude? God knows I'm going to be playing an absolute demon now. 
<laughs> Alright, let's see. Who are we coming up against? The ideal. Alongside me is Stuart Robson, and it's all about our live Farron Torres. Red Neymar, Red Kane, though, not not the uh, other red. Well, Derek, okay. When looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice Are we going to get cooked? Let's see. Particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting lineup for Sissons. I had a pass there. I didn't Michael see it. No foul, by the way. Plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defense. What? And up front, Harry Kane plays alongside Ferran Torres. Heavy tackle through my back there with Kane. No foul. Introducing the visitors lineup today. Lev Yashin begins in goal. Garincha starts with Usman Dembele out wide. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, Derek, what a chance this is. Nice try. Okay. Four, two, one, three, boys. Back to the OG setup. It might take me a while. And the substitution will occur now. And behind it's gone for a corner. Fired over by Messi. Hmm. Too close to the goalkeeper. Ronaldo just got bullied in the air by I don't even know who that is. Okay. Oh. Something of a landmark occasion for Cristiano Ronaldo as today nice will try. be his I got cooked. Let's go, Rio. Big tackle there. Good lord. And these fans will be hoping he stays around for another hundred games. It's a great achievement. Will you be doing the icon back next? Does he have a uh, oh Lewis? This guy's got a cool team, man. I must say. I got cooked again, man. Unreal. This guy's getting so unlucky. I'm not winning that one. This is bullshit. Christopher, thank you for the resub, bro. I can't answer it. Um, I have no idea how the goat scored that, but he did. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I will, dude. I will. Again, and dude, what have I just witnessed, man? Like, what? How does he just phase through that tackle? Like, I don't even exist. I'm already ready to quit the game <laughs> for the day. I'm already ready. I don't know. I thought, you know what, with Ronaldo making that run, try something different, but it didn't work. Unlucky. Well, there's a living, breathing example of positional sense. I hate this game, man. I just hate this game because the left stick dribbling just makes no bloody sense. Gabriel Martinelli. I gotta be careful in my final third, though. It's just, I, if I concede again, I'm gonna be really pissed at myself. Okay, can I ask why it's so easy for my opponent to pick off every pass I ever make? What? Olga Carmona. I I don't understand gameplay. I just I genuinely don't understand gameplay. Oh, fucking shit game, man. <laughs> I'm losing it already. I'm losing it already, man. Again, I just feel like I'm second best to everything. Every play, my, my team is so open. 
My guy runs into his own players and almost creates goals. Like, what is happening, man? Lionel Messi. Now with Toure. Trying to keep the opposition at bay. The referee allowing the play to flow. I don't understand how it's so easy to cook my ass nowadays. The situation developing. Dembele. Could it keep the ball? Dude, what is this AI, man? It's a promising city move. Oh, danger here. I hate this game. I fucking hate this game. Lionel Messi. Garincana. Ronaldo. That takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Is the fucker in the chat that said Sunday champs is easy? At four to three, I came up against a player log sweat. Or Malika, because he wants me to rage. Forward. Show your face, liar. Just wants clips. And champs is easy on Sundays, for sure. So easy. Showing a real will to win the ball. Literally playing ultimate AI right now. Great gameplay. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway <laughs> stage. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Oh my god, he lost possession of the fucking ball, man. Now with Ronaldo, and good use of advantage. This could level it, and it is the equalizer. Parity now, and who's to say what's going to happen next? Henson with a huge tackle gets re-tackled after making a huge tackle, so is out of position and lost the ball. Amazing. And Kane comes into the move. Good looking attack this. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Yaya Toure. Moving forward effectively. Should have played the ball to Ronaldo there. Now with Neymar. Okay, that was delay. There's no other words. Okay, I hate this game. I mean, that again, two passes there that just didn't go anywhere I aimed them to. Fuck off. Fuck the game. This game's horrible. Let's go. Got a good tackle. Just delay, brother. The pass has to come off after that first touch. Nah, I, I'm clearly not mentally stable enough to play the game when it's like this, man. I'm not. I'm just not. I don't know what's happened in the last week or two, but this game has become unplayable, bro. And clearly my opponent has no delay, by the way. Every tackle bounces back to him. Every dribble he dribbles magically through my tackles. I can't make passes first time, so I'm getting tackled after I make a pass. Fuck this game, dude. This game is fucking awful, man. Okay, well. Like, it's made even worse when you clearly your opponent isn't playing in delay, man. 
I... It's not worth my time, man. There you go. Tackle bounces through my, two of my players for him. This game sucks. This game genuinely fucking sucks. I hate this game. Great pass to Messi. Not gonna lie, it's been perfect for me this week. I'm so fucking happy for you, bro. Amazing. I'm so happy for you, man. I'm so happy for you. That'll be a foul. Because, of course, I magically can never make tackles anymore in this fucking type of gameplay. How is that not a foul? It just lunged through my back again, man. You know what? If I got that on target, that's a goal, too. It's really annoying. That's my fault. That's 100% my fault. Thanks for the raid, Storm. Lewis. Gabriel Martinelli. Nicely timed tackle. Good tackle from Lincoln. Neymar. A really good pass. No shot, man. Fuck. <laughs> no luck keeping possession. Graham Hansen. That's a pen. <laughs> That's a super piece of defending. And pull back. Brilliantly blocked. No idea how that wasn't a pen. Neymar. Awesome. Wonderful chance. Brilliant goalkeeping. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. <laughs> and defending as a unit. Oh, skipping away. Cristiano Ronaldo are still pressing for a goal here. Across there. Oh my! Oh my! What have I just witnessed? Koulibaly just jumped 47 feet in the air to block that and then jumped again and chested it backwards through his body. What the hell? What the hell was any of that? What is this guy doing, man? Okay. Oh, no. Not a what is going on, man? I, I just can't handle this BS, dude. Oh. 
I want to score an own goal. I'm going to score another own goal. I, I don't want to win a game like this, dude. Oh my god! Finally a gifted. Brother, let's be real. That's a viewer that, unless I scored there, was just taking the win against me, man. Nice goal. Despite this kid being a stream sniper wanted to make you sweat and then gifted a win. Amen. I look, I think I played a long term sub here, but I don't feel good about any of that. Anyways, congrats, Portland. GG's. I mean, you just put me through 90 minutes of hell in the worst delay ever. I don't understand. Messi is really good, yeah. Bounces weren't going your way. I, again, I don't know if there's like DDA to that level where bounces only go against me versus my opponent. I hey, just man. think it's a connection problem that makes it feel that way, man. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated from gameplay. <sighs> Anyways, whoever that was, GG, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm obviously, I don't have anything against whoever I just played. It's just the gameplay that's melting my brain cells. The mind of a FIFA player in 2024, it's mystical. I, like I said, I think this game gives me mental issues. I really, I really think, it, I really think it gives me mental issues, man. Like, and, and, but I repeat, it's only when there's delay, dude, I've lost to top tier FIFA players in clean gameplay and I've had nothing but good things to say. But like, again, a game like that, I don't know if my opponent was good. I don't know if I'm good. That was just awful to play in. Just bounce backs galore, tackles galore, missing easy chances, scoring impossible chances with Messi. I, I like, I'm diving into tackles. The dude is just dribbling around me like I don't even have players. Like, again, is he just amazing at the game or is it because I'm in delay and every time I go for a tackle, he's already moved past me, but the animation shows me making a tackle, but then he phases through it. So it's like a desync issue where I look like I'm tackling him, but on his screen, he's just walking around me. Like, is it a desync issue? I don't know what it is, man. But like, it's it's when it's gameplay like this, this game makes me think I have brain issues. I I have I have brain problems. But in clean gameplay, I'm fine. I'm fine to win. I'm fine to lose. I'm fine to battle. Like, if it's clean, I don't care. At least what I do works. I can dribble. I can left stick dribble. I can skill when I want to. I can pass when I want to. I can shoot when I want to. And if my opponent's playing, whatever. That guy didn't have a bad. Whoever I was playing, I I, I don't know who I was playing, but um. I mean, I feel like if you score an own goal, it's probably a stream sniper of some sort. Or the guy was just so bored with the game that instead of quitting at a draw, he gave me the win. So maybe he's a nice person. But either way, I don't know who was the better opponent in that game. Because it was so heavy and so delayed, I have no idea. No idea. Remote play on my PS5 and I got 16 and 4. I don't know how that's possible. That's wild. Like this last week to week and a half, I, I, I end up finishing my games feeling like a jerk off. 38 year old man that just loses his mind while playing a video game is just so embarrassing. I, I love Evos, man, but I, I gotta, like, give love to Nep and Andy and the guys that are using full Evo teams of their favorite clubs. I'm losing my mind with this team. If I was using a Leeds team right now, man, these Epis wouldn't last more than half an hour. Imagine this was a Le Leeds-only RTG. I, 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 honest to God, man, I, I would be so done. <laughs> hey, man. I can't even string together passes with all of these awesome players I'm using right now, let alone if it was Leeds players.
Imagine trying to score goals with a 80 rated Somerville that was bad at the start of the year, let alone three months into the game when everyone has Virgil van Dijk and Laurent Blanc and whatever else. I just more credit and power to anybody that's able to do that, man. Bamford's goal was unreal. So good, Haber. So good. <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't as technically good, and, and he wasn't being as, as pressed as heavily as Thierry Henry was in that Man United game where he scored that, like, flick-up scissor volley past Bartes, but it looked similar in a lot of different angles, for sure. Um, who's the dupe? Already forgot. Betcho. Betcho. I think this will be easy no matter what. Torino, Napoli. Easy. Maldini's cheap? Maldini's cheap? No. Surely not. What was it? It was Napoli and who? Oh, Torino, of course. How many rares? Oh, just two? Erupt. That's fantastic. Use as many non rares as we can. I have so many of them. Really? I don't have another Napoli player or Torino player? That's crazy. Erupt. Oh, I need three leaks. Uh, okay. I need three leagues. I can do Seri B, maybe? Oh no. Um Off by four, off by four, off by four, okay. Um do 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 Gives me a plus one. Might just go for it anyways, though. And then, uh, what about here? Ah, yay, yay. Well, whatever, man. Who cares? Do that. And then we need two more. Take my money! Take my money! Take my bank card! Started this weekend league 4 to 6, finished 11 to 9. Gameplay is so bad. I think DDA exists in rebounces and deflection, especially when your opponent is high pressing. Yeah, as always, I think it's not necessarily um, what you'd consider DDA. I think the game is just idiotic in that sense. And 
whether your player's stats are nerfed, whether the connection means your player's reactions or their stats are nerfed. EA are too dim-witted to code that type of system into the game where it's like forces your players to make sense, right? I've always said that. Like whenever people try and define it as pure DDA or momentum shifting or whatever, EA can't even code the basics right. So there's no way they have something that crazy in the game that profound in terms of a code in the game to me it's a it's a mix of these two things that i think causes us all to believe the dda or whatever i genuinely believe it's two things it's a there's a shift between your ai difficulty and your opponent's ai difficulty as the game goes and it goes from beginner to ultimate and flows flows all over the place so maybe you both start on semi-pro AI, and then as the game goes, you create a bunch of chances but don't score. So your opponent AI, because it, the game thinks your opponent your opponent's getting battered, so your opponent's AI goes to legendary, your AI stays at semi-pro, and then things shift and happen, and then you're getting maybe battered, and then now your AI goes to world class, and your opponent's AI goes to professional. I think it's a bit of that, which creates a bit of the stupidity. And then I also just think it's delay and server lag, that, that again, one guy's sitting there moving in mud and he can't dribble or do anything, so every pass is like lethargic and terrible terrible and uh, your opponent's in a clean game they're on four ping they're right next to the server and they're moving around and on on their screen they're moving through you like they, they think they're a god meanwhile you're sitting there trying to tackle you're tackling them and they phase through the tackle but that's mainly because on their screen they're nowhere near you they just walk past i think it's those two things um and again fundamentally those being issues and or things in the game is why this game shouldn't be taken seriously as a as a as a competitive game which is why I, I want to step away from um, trying too hard in this game. I mean, one game played already and I'm flustered and infuriated out of my mind. Because I can't seem to stay calm while I'm playing in moronically delayed gameplay. It just makes me too angry. Just get out of my face. I can't be dealing with all these dupes. Animation seems RNG too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you go into an animation, when the ball's right there, sometime your player will toe poke the ball away perfectly. Other times they'll like fall into your opponent and it's a pen. Or other times they'll like keep their legs closed and your opponent will just walk past. Other times they'll lunge and take the ball away. I agree. Uh, the RNG and the, the animations of next gen gameplay is probably another big problem with the game. Not even probably, it is. Uh, yes, I agree with you, man. For sure. Even in kickoff mode, kickoff glitch and injury time goals are a thing. So some of the DDA talk is probably true. So again, if you listen to what I'm saying, they're not doing that. Like I said, what will make you think that there's DDA in the 90th is again, in the 90th, what they will probably do is the winning team's AI will get dropped to semi-pro and the offensive team in the 90th minutes AI that is losing. So if you're one nothing down, your AI will bump up to world class. They'll magically make runs. They'll phase through tackles. They'll be available for Tiki Taka. Meanwhile, your opponent's team, one nothing up, will be down in semi-pro land. And it'll be impossible for them to win the ball back over and over. Now again, top tier player, even with a semi-pro degenerate setup, might be able to pick off those 90th minute passes that you have all to your advantage and still beat you. You might have world class AI, be a goal down, and have everything work in your favor and still screw it up because of delay or because of you making the mistake or bottling it, that is, again, I think the much more likely thing here. User error, user ability, mixed in with delay, mixed in with the game shifting your, your squads, uh, your overall team's quality from beginner AI to uh, world-class AI, or from semi-pro AI to world-class AI. I think that's what it is. That's literally what DDA means. No, yeah, dynamic difficulty adjustment, yes. But most people that describe DDA nowadays just call it like momentum and scripting. Like I said, I don't think there's a, as to how people define it, I don't think there is a script because I don't think EA are capable of that. I think they just adjust, yeah, each team's uh, AI strength. Right? But the problem is, is a lot of you guys are like, oh, there's DDA in the 90th. I, I, when people say DDA in the 90th, 99% of the time, they don't mean that there's like the script uh, of their 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 own AI strength versus, the, the, versus their opponent's strength is moving. They're basically saying that the game is holding their player back versus their opponent being able to phase through their team and stuff, right? 
So I just think it's important to say that stuff because I don't think we should be giving EA enough credit to have that type of a mechanic in the game. Is this shift in AI level confirmed? Nothing is confirmed. EA don't make their coding for their game a, a publicly available. Um, so nothing is confirmed. But there have been um, instances of people seeing their AI in the top right of their screen shifting from semi-pro to world-class back down to professional and upwards. So it's basically, they've proved it once again to us without proving it, if you know what I mean. They'll say, oh, that's a visual bug, or oh, that's only meant for squad battle offline play, but you fight. all of that's coded in the game in online Ultimate Team squad battles, and you're not just sneak applying it to all of us in online gameplay? I don't believe that for a second. I, I trust EA as far as I can throw them, and I can't yeah. throw them very far, that's so for sure. Some of this stuff hasn't been leaked over the years by disgruntled employees. Well, I mean, it kind of has. That's the thing. Um, but again, the problem is, is like, the, the, I think the legal ramifications of no matter what, how disgruntled an employee is, the re legal ramifications of you leaking, like, copyright or, or, um, or, or coding that's, uh, that you signed an NDA towards, like, you, no matter how disgruntled you are, you're not going to end yourself, put yourself in jail or financial trouble for that, right? This is never going to happen. That 83 by 10 have a best of 84 in there? That's horrific. Another Kyle Walker! Can I give them to you guys? Oh my. Um, all right, an 83 and an 84. 83 Rodriguez and Walker. I guess we start with this now. Oh God. I don't even know if I have enough informs for this, guys. Let's see. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'll use the two uh, guys that are in packs right now. Perfect. Am I putting Cole Palmer into the new Evo? No. I don't think I have an 86, do I, guys? No, so it's got to be the 85 for the 87, and then it works. I have slower unresponsive gameplay each week to the point I want to throw up. I don't know if I have a bad memory, but I feel like the gameplay wasn't this bad a week and a bit ago. Like, I, I feel like uh, 50 to 70% of my games I'd play and not get genuinely, bubblingly, overflowingly angry. Whereas this last week, and especially Friday and today, I've... Dude, I just said I wanted to try and have fun playing this game, and I, I again, had to stop myself from screaming against this guy I just played. And it ended up being a viewer. I mean, have I just lost the plot in a week and a half? Or or is the game, game, game play, gameplay genuinely worse? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Unless I've become more unhinged over the last little bit. Uh, 100 player pack we can open. Not like we're gonna get, any, gonna get anything in this stupid pack. Restock the silvers and bronzes is desperately needed. What? The hell? Muthasasoko! Where did you go? <laughs> where did he go? Wait, actually, where did he go? What is happening right now? Is he at the back? Muthathathoko. Oh, medium, medium as well? They couldn't have given him medium high or something? Oh, what an OG he is, man. Good lord, that physical is cracked. Press proven as well? Interesting. 
I don't think you could make this card good, though, unfortunately. Play a game? Oh. What happens if I don't wanna, though? What if I don't wanna? Dun, 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 Wow, that's a lot of dupes, man. Oh my god. Is the uh, 500k pack worth it? I don't think there's a single pack in the store that's worth it, man. They're all just meant to melt your, your money and your brain cells. So, Oberdorf, Many, and Rodriguez. Oberdorf, Many, and Rodriguez. Oh, oh, he's right there. I didn't see him. Okay. Come on, man. I've done nothing but bitch and moan this whole weekend, so the least I deserve is an amazing pack pull, right, guys? Cap up. Um... Oh my god. I'm not, uh, I might have an 89 in the club that I'm willing to get rid of, though. Oh, maybe not. Oh, absolutely. Pappin can get effed, bruv. Okay, what about uh, an 87? No. Do I have an 86 at all? I do. Okay, hold on. If I use an 86 here, and then... I think I have an 85 in form that I could use. Yeah, erupt. Oh my god! I don't need an in form! Oh, I would have been re I've done that already on the RTG once, guys. No one, not a single person in the chat told me nothing. They all wanted to watch me burn, dude. <laughs> Jordy's been screaming. Jordy's been screaming. No one in the chat is willing to help me there. They just want to watch the world burn, like my brain cells are while I play champs. Alright. Uh... Alright, what am I gonna do with all this, man? Is it Bundesliga and Serie A? I could do... I'm too lazy. I'm just too annoyed. I can't believe I'm going to do this, man. I could put him, him, and him into the League SBC, and him, and him into the League SBC, and her into the marquee matchups. I just, I can't. I'm too annoyed. I'm too annoyed. I can't even be bothered. I'm, I'm a fraud. Some men left behind. Sorry. Some men left behind. Oh! Oh my. Uh, I think for 30k, I'm going to just take the coins. And also, I think Oberdorf as well. I know that they're not... Where is Oberdorf? There she is. I mean, that's such a low price for an 87. Holy. 87 is usually 17 to 19k, right? Van Uiuiu. Some men left behind pays out. Always. Always the case. Alright. 84 by 5 is the new uh the new pack. Well that's pain. Unless this is a double walkout. Okay, 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 okay. Erupt me with a fire. Erupt me with some fire. Trent Theory, baby. Trent Theory, baby. Trent Theory, baby. Who's that? Oh, Katoto. Katoto's uh, Thunderstruck is really good. I feel like Katoto would be really good as a dual striker, though. Not, I, I was using Katoto as a right wing. Come on. 
Nope. Hey, man. Pain. Nothing but pain. No way. One walkout in an 84 by 5 and it's an 86. Holy Jesus. Wow, that's awful. I mean, I guess it is an 82 squad with an inform, right? Still, though, I mean, informs are about 30 to 40k. So it's still pain. There's a fire player. You would have seen it in the background. No. Hey, man. We hit Sissoko and there's no flare. I think it's random. I think sometimes you see it in the background and sometimes you don't. Sometimes they walk out, something. They, sometimes they don't. Uh, later. Lakraz, thank you for the 21. I appreciate you. Man, I, I just... God, I'm sounding so negative. But I, I seriously think right now I'm in per I'm in the purgatory of pre-team of the year boredom. Anyone else? Is that just another walkout from a freaking gold one player pack? Anyone else in that like pre-team of the year purgatory? Where you're just like, bruv, please can it just be team of the year now? Like these dead filler uh, events are so ass. Please God, can we just have team of the year now? I mean, I'm still happy to grind, still happy to do what I'm doing, etc. But um, I just feel like I'm I'm at that point where I just need a t bit of team of the year hype. I mean, we get voting tomorrow, or later today, I guess, for some of you. Um, so that's a W. We're definitely going to release a, uh, a team of the year vote video. Is it at 6 p.m. the voting starts tomorrow? Do we do it with the 6 p.m. epi or will it be... It might even be a standalone video. I don't know. Dude, there's no way Team of the Year's hide at, hide at the end of PAX, man. There's no way. And by the way, I genuinely think because we're all degenerate gamblers and this game is built around the flashing lights of good pack pulls like you're at a casino, I honestly think they are absolutely robbing you of the small joy. Whenever you pack a... Uh, the, the the last like three events, we, uh, Toxic, F F FC versus, and I think also Winter Wild Cards, they all show at the back of packs. Like to me, that is them genuinely stealing from you. I mean, they already steal from you, but 99% of the time, even when you pack something good, they're at the back of a pack. It's It's mental. I know that basically is all of us admitting that this is a casino slot machine game, but I mean... Let's call a spade a spade. This game is a gambling addict's haven. They've built it around flashing lights and, and bing, 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 casino slot machine. Good pack, good pack. Look, everyone, this is an amazing pack. Look at this slot machine. Walk out with special animations. And now that we do, we don't even get that. 90% of the time, the players just show up at the back of the pack. I mean, again, I, I don't think there's any way that Team of the Years don't walk out, but... I mean, there's definitely an argument to be made. Again, if someone was had infinite time and infinite boredom and maybe infinite money, I'm sure you could chase some legal ramifications there from EA, for sure. But God knows there's even worse issues in this game than them not showing us flares. I'm sure if we all saw the code, there'd be so many slimy things that EA are doing in the background of pack animation, pack coding, pack weights, coding... Um, maybe even to some of your guys' happiness, some gameplay coding that's horrific, server coding, maybe people on better and better records, they, they just continuously get put on worse and worse uh, servers. Who knows, right? With EA keeping all their code secret, we'll, we'll never know. It's all just speculation. Packs in the summer are always a lot better, but that's twofold. First of all, less people are spamming the game. Um... So I think that has something to do with drop weights. But more importantly, there's about 40 times more cards in packs. Who is the best in the finisher Evo? Whoever is your, your home nation or your favorite team's best player is who is. Have fun, man. Enjoy the game. Chasing these meta evos that you'll use for about a week before you chase the next meta evo is just not how I play the game, so you're not going to get any better advice from me, at least. See ya. Sorry, man.
Malin Evo is now meta. But he won't get the rest of his upgrades, right? There's no way it's a base Malin, right? It's the FC Pro Malin that, that fits? Or, or is it a base Malin? Oh, it's his base. Awesome. So base Malin is better than his FC Pro card that costs God knows how much. Base into Founders upgrades? Hmm. I like that, though. I mean, that specifically, that Malin, if you still had the Founders and then it got him to an 89 5-star, five 5-star five R9 card, I mean, that is cool. If you're going for a meta, at least that one's an original one. I don't think many people have the Founders still available. But once again, this is why I guess, like Nep's been telling you guys, you keep all of your Evos until they're near expiry, and then you do them. Right? But you don't use your Leeds Evos? I go for the metas and use them? Congratulations. That's great. My, my Archie Gray has... 1200 games played but yeah i don't use them i'll use a player i, li I love instead of malin no, I mean, honestly, dude, I, I, I almost take back what I said with the Malin because that's such an original Evo. I mean, there's always that beautiful... And first of all, don't listen to what I say. Just do what you want. I'm just saying how I'm trying to consume the game. If you want to run full meta cards... I mean, look at the David Alaba on my main account. I did one meta card. Was that Inform David Alaba? He's the best card probably in my team. So don't completely just listen to me blindly. I mean, that's just my suggestion. I still feel like if you... Evo your teams and your clubs and your your home nations players. You probably have more fun in the long run, because hopefully in the next couple of months you'll be looking at a, I don't know, maybe you'll be able to use one of your nation's Macedonian left backs and he he could be 92 rated. Maybe you can make an Alioski 92 rated or something fun like that, right? That's my thought process. I mean, you do you. Is regular Komen as good as regular Van Dyke? No. Absolutely not. I, 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 I am of the belief that the only card that's better than regular Van Dyke is Inform Van Dyke. And the only card that's better than Inform Van Dyke is maybe Winter Wildcard Van Dyke. Honestly, man, I've been using Yashin for a while now, the Winter Wild card. I've used Maldini's uh, Dynamic Destiny or whatever and his regular card. Um, they're still not better than that Inform Virgil I had. The only card, as has been mentioned in the chat, that I would say now compares to Inform Virgil is that 93 Alaba. But that's me. Again, that's just me. That's just me. That is just me. Not to say that everyone will uh, will agree. Maldini, SPC, or Icon pick? I'm a degenerate, so I'm going Icon pick. What I like is because with Alaba, you can have a big beast like, like Rio, and then Alaba's kind of that skilled maniac. It's like back when people, when, when we used to run PK the monster uh, team of the year next to Ramos, the like skilled psycho, right? This 93 Alaba and Rio combo, or maybe if you're lucky enough to have a 93 Alaba and Lucio or 93 Alaba and Virgil van Dyke or 93 Alaba and Yashin, which is what I'm using. Those combos are so cracked. Let's do an 84 by 5. Come on. Erupt me with something huge here. Never mind. No way. Again? Okay, flip me. Flip me. Flip me. Fire Neymar. Fire Neymar. Fire Neymar. I don't care if it's anticlimactic. Fire Neymar! Who?
Okay, well, good news. We can do the icon pick now. Um, Gundo and Smalling. <laughs> Not quite Neymar. Does paradise... Gundo and Neymar. Wait, Gundo and Neymar? Who the hell am I? What? Who is the dupe? I just said Gundo and Neymar. And that's who I was looking for. Was it Hendrik? Uh. Araho wasn't the dupe. Was Araho the dupe? No. Smalling. Smalling, Smalling. Man, Twitch chat is on the gummies I'm on, apparently. I don't know. Without really dipping into my special cards... Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We do have to, we have to dip our toes into the special card pool here. First time in a while. This this special card section is getting so overflown. Fl overflowed. Okay, so an 87 doesn't work. Um, I guess it's got to be an 88. In the gangsters. Oh, no. And I don't have another 89 to use now. Uh, okay. Well, we'll go with uh, Lisa Razu because he sucks. Hour after hour. Erupt. All right, boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it, man. You know what? I had fun today. We got the icon uh, hit. We've hit a ice player and a fire player. So we've hit a FC versus ice, FC versus fire, and then we're gonna end it with the centurion and played one game of champs. I told you guys, man. If, if during these recordings the gameplay makes me a degenerate, it's Tarky time. So, let's uh, let's do a reveal though. I need to erupt with a reveal here. Come on, okay. If this is something crazy, we'll play like four, three to five champs games next episode to finish off our champs run. Okay, make that promise to the gameplay guys that that are barely getting one or two games an episode right now. I make that promise. If this is something eruptible, then um, we'll make it happen. Here we go. Um, it's three, right, guys? I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Part of my soul believes that there's going to be a Centurion Hullet here. I've never packed Hullet or Cruyff in the history of Ultimate Team, and I've been a, such a whiny baby in gameplay lately that I feel like the pack gods are finally going to be bad. Or be good, because I'm bad. All right, here we go. Thank you guys for watching another Epi. I love you all. I appreciate you all. God bless you. Wish me luck in my Tarkov raids because I'm sure it's going to be awful because I'm bad at that game too. Come on. Centurion. Centurion or Thunderstruck, please. I think that's base. I mean, I'll take a base Croy for a base Hullet. Honestly, I will. 100 gifted subs, by the way, if there's a Croy for a Hullet in one of these. 100 gifted subs for the non-subs. And I'll give away a PS5 Pro. Why did I just decide to cost myself $1,000? I don't care. Who is this? Oh my god. Does that say 90-something? Oh no, it says 88! I think that's Devor Suker! It's even worse. It's even worse. It's Miroslav Klose, dude. Oh my god. Guys, it's Miroslav Klose! We didn't even get close to a good pull, dude. I don't even think Zway would be happy about that, guys. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Everybody, everybody relax! Everybody just shut their mouths! Not even closer to a Cruyff. <laughs> Shut up, Burnsy La. No, it's another base, dude. I'm getting defrauded here. Please, God. High rating. Oh, my God. Please be 97. Wait, is there even a... No, that's 87. I hate this game. I hate it here! Oh, my God. It's the German twats. Again. Why? This is a sway... Is this a sway pee, -pee dude? Oh, my God. There isn't a 97 icon. Everybody shut up. Come on, man. Please. Thunderstruck or Centurion for the final one. Please, man. How is it all base icons? 
Please, please cry for Hullet. Please, for the love of Jesus. Oh my god, that might be 91. 91! Who could that be? 91, 91. It's not Hullet or Cruyff. Is that you, Sabio? Oh my! Oh my! Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we don't hide. I guess we don't. <laughs> I guess we don't have to crap the uh, the Centurion Eusebio. <laughs> How has the main account gotten an insane card, and then the RTG on the same left side pick gotten an even more insane card? Oh my god! Yes, we finally have a replacement for the crappy Grinch. I've been just losing my mind using that Grinch, and I don't have to anymore, boys. I don't have to anymore, man. Oh my god, this is the greatest day of my life. I love you all, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!